Hey everyone, how's it going? So it's me, Rylan. Um, it is 2.08 on November 15th, 2019. And as usual, it's been a little while since I've made a video. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe I just haven't had anything to say. Who knows? But I have something to say today. Um, it just literally by happenstance like I've wanted to make this video for the past like three weeks and I just haven't done it um but it's interesting because uh this week November 13th through the 19th is trans awareness week and then November uh 20th is trans day of remembrance so it's just kind of funny that what I'm gonna talk about today uh has to do with trans stuff but I always talk about that Anyway, so what I wanted to discuss today was um, for those, my viewers that identify as transgender or non-binary or whatever type of unicorn you are, um, I wanted to talk about what it's like when you're getting rid of your clothes um, like in preparation or because you might be transitioning. Um, so I call that personally like the cleanse. That's what I called it back in the day. I started transitioning six years ago, which is like fucking mind blowing to me. Six years ago. Good God. Um, so yeah, six years ago, I started testosterone. I was on it for two years and then I stopped in 2016 because I identify as gender fluid, transmasculine, just kind of, you know, hey, like I'm just here. But this video is not for me just because I, um, you know, I'm not on testosterone anymore and like sometimes I wear makeup and dresses and wigs. This is not for me. This is not to say like you're going to do transition and change your mind that's not what I'm trying to say the advice that I want to give and impart to you is when you um, perhaps are going through your clothing and are deciding that you want to get rid of um, the gendered clothing that you have that you no longer identify with so in the case of um, an FTM um, maybe it's time that you want to start getting rid of your girl clothes I 100% support that decision because obviously you want to wear clothes that reflect your gender identity and whatever you're comfortable in. And side note, clothing is not gendered, so wear whatever the fuck you want, but it is common for trans people to like obviously shed their wardrobe and find clothes that validate who they are. But the point that I want to make and advice that I want to give you is you don't have to get rid of everything. I feel like when we're in the heat of the moment and it's like you've you've had your come to Jesus moment and you're like, I want to, you know, like externally transition. We maybe want to shed, depending on like what your level of dysphoria is, we just want to like shed every part of our past every every inch of who we used to be which is fine that's fine to be like really like get this fucking dress out of here i'm never gonna wear this that's cool but i am learning my girlfriend is um she's recently embraced her trans feminine identity so she identifies as a trans woman and it's really eye-opening to see um, her go through the process of, you know, affirming her identity and buying clothes and all that stuff. And um, she had a day where she was like doing the cleanse and getting rid of her clothes and deciding to donate her stuff to Goodwill, which I highly recommend. Don't just throw out your clothing, like donate it. Salvation Army, Goodwill, they exist, peeps. So anyway there was a bunch of clothing and i realized that um perhaps maybe there was i don't remember why i said it but there was maybe like some hesitance on like a t-shirt and i found out that the shirt 
was what she wore to her college graduation. And I was like, you do not have to get rid of this. Just because you don't identify as male anymore does not mean that you have to get rid of everything. Me, I had a, I had a lot of items that I really fucking wish I could go back and like just have saved. Whether it's in a box, on the top shelf, stowed away or in your attic, I think it's important that if you do have a piece of clothing um, and it is important to you and it holds some type of meaning, even if it is tied to your past self, you don't have to get rid of it. It would have made me really sad if she would have gotten rid of that shirt and I'm glad that I found the meaning of it because I was like, you're not getting rid of this. Like, We will put it on the top shelf in a plastic bag and you don't have to look at it, but keep it because it's important to you. Me personally, something that I kept when I was transitioning, I did the cleanse. I have no idea why I did this, but I did not want to get rid of my makeup brush, specifically my blush brush, uh, like blush, like that. I don't know why, but I just had some type of connection to it and I didn't want to get rid of it. And I had a lot of conflict with that at the time. I was like, you're a guy, like why do you want to keep a piece of makeup? And I actually think I kept some eyeliner too. And I was just like, why do you want to keep this? Like, you're never going to wear it. This doesn't, you know, this clearly doesn't align with who I am. And I'm glad that I kept those things. Not just because I'm gender fluid and, and now I present in feminine ways when I feel like it. That has nothing to do with it. But it's because it was important to me. There's other things like, I wish I would have kept the scarf that I loved. But, and a dress that I really loved. And just because I never... I'm gonna wear those things anymore I wish I would have kept on to them just for you know posterity's sake so what I'm trying to say to y'all is just because something is gendered and has to do with like your past if it holds meaning to you you don't have to get rid of it it doesn't make you any less trans it doesn't mean that you're going to detransition in the future. It doesn't mean any of that. But if you have something that means something to you, you don't have to get rid of it. Put it in a box. Look at it later when you're older. Like the reason I wanted her to save it was because like, even if you don't look at it for like 10 years, you might run across that box someday and look at it and those memories will come back to you instead of just getting rid of it because it's like a guy's shirt. And that that thought just like makes me really sad and that's coming from personal experience of knowing like, yeah, there's, I just saw a picture, of, that's why I'm referencing a scarf. There's like a scarf that I really liked, like one of those like, you know, like the fashion scarves that like wrap around. Um, and I decided like, no, you can't wear those things. That's not true. Number one, wear whatever you want, always. Um, number two, clothing is not gendered. And number three, if you are getting rid of your clothes, pick what's important to you and keep it because you might regret that like years down the road. And like I said, I'm a very cer like special circumstance because I... I don't like to say reverted because that sounds stupid. I, I personally do not like being called or referred to as like detransitioned. I didn't de anything. I still identify as male. I just happen to have more fluidity in my gender presentation. But I wish I would have kept some of my feminine clothing because like I could still wear it today. But that's just me. That's my experience because I, you know, I still wear women's clothing. So not going to talk more about it because I've said enough already, but yes, you don't have to get rid of everything. There's nothing wrong with keeping things that are important to you. It doesn't make you any less trans. You're a human being. Something means something to you. Keep it. It's part of you. And then there'll be new parts of you. There'll be new clothing that you get in your affirmed gender that will become important to you as well. So just hang on to it. Don't make the mistakes that I did. All right. Bye, guys.